It's star um, 1978, star 8378, Nicole Ketteruza. I broke the table by accident today. I sat on the edge of it. The whole thing broke um, as I'm doing my um, physics and physique uh, interaction with the local New York area being photons are too high in gamma, like microwave level, along with other stuff. Um, now, there's stu a topic on, I found this, um, I taped the New York CBS News uh, last night and the night before, uh, because Linda was in control of the television, and I saw it the first time, but I missed it, and I wanted to make note of it because it was a really important topic. Now, it says FDA. These are the only symbols I have to go off of as to what your humans are, are using in order to instruct one another to try to figure out how and whom, to whom to address to get help with gamma microwaves um, and myoskeleton issues uh, with uh, like like um, like a super conductive stickiness to the ground as you walk in some arc I call vampire shock where it's not arcing electric and magnetic correctly and it's affecting the biology but anyway um, so here it says FDA which I know is Food and Drug Administration is what's been presented as FDA. And then it says something, Biologics Evaluation and Research. That looks like cyber. If there was a Y in, inside, if it was C-Y-B-E-R, but it, instead it's just cyber. I don't know, cyber, cyber. And the Vaccines and Related Biological Products Advisory Committee. I don't know who these people are. I don't know how to get in touch with them. I don't know how to find them. I mean, I, I'm having trouble finding local legislative uh, to ask questions to, to teach me how this Bayside Station's being run. Um... So I'm having trouble even in this that small locality, but to find big locality of like federal level, I can't even find local level at this point. Um, just being, I walk the area. I mean, I put an umbrella up because it's a it's a legitimate concern, but I don't know how to flag what I need in order to get legitimate help. Um, but here it says a uh, discussion topic. It says, taking into consideration the limitations of the study design and sample size, please discuss any general observations that can be made regarding the data on heterologous boosters presented by NIH from their mix and match booster study. Now, I'm just curious, where is your control subset inside all of this? Because you've already, in a scientific study, there's normally a double blind, or supposed to be, if it's run properly and legitimately, and at clinical level, or it was at some point, but it says the limitations of the study design and sample size. Right, where does that get published and who's checking the accuracy? Because general observations, when they say it's heterologous, now it, hetero, um, is that like male and female? Is that, because it's a log, of some proportion just by the word but I'm a little confused because it's also the he and then it's the taro t-e-r-o and that goes back to holes in time and space where space broke and um, biology is being affected we got some climate change going on it's affecting the humans and then I got people playing around with life <laughs> like study assignments and not wanting to let their grants go even though they're 
totally ridiculous and then being mad and trying to poison the water hole for other things that like really sedition takes hold when they act out of character in their God's miracle work on like Monday and then Tuesday you tell them you're canceling funding because they found out that the results they're posting doesn't actually have any effect and it's actually causing problems with other stuff and then all of a sudden God's worker becomes little demons in like democracy groups oh boy it's been real amazing watching over you guys. All right, so now, presented by their mix and match booster study. Now, how do you mix and match? Is that when, like, you fudge the results to get the, like, answers you want to get more grants? Or, I'm just curious, to, like, increase your pool of candidates so this way you have more papers written to support your ridiculous job at some pharmaceutical that some team player in some but I, I'm not really finding like I mean right when you're all going domestically violent with shots and telling everybody they gotta take it right so they can fix the machine right it's why'd you touch the machine to begin with and even start this in like, big university. I'm just curious how that ever got started. Okay, anyway, I was left out of it because nobody wanted whatever and whatever, whatever, whatever. But here, I don't really see where this data is actually, I mean, do you consider this the empirical? Is that with an E? Is that with an I? It gets a little funny in English. And again... I'm in this symbolic system, and I'm still working on some topiary labyrinth with a hole in my space and timing where I'm just being thrown a lot of visual cues, and I'm like, whoa, that's like Tourette's for, from humans, because like, I'm seeing a lot of conflicting purposes and um, not a lot of what needs to be done and I'm having some actual problems in like real reality um, but hard to explain because somewhere along the lines when you have fiber optic level issues like you need a wizard they call it right? and then you like really you want me to go up to an NYPD officer and tell him <laughs> that I need a wizard who knows how to fix like the invisible I mean like that's when they start to think you're crazy and you're like well they have to call themselves something because they're not taking part in whatever this is and this started off with some sense of decency I don't know when but it has turned into a nightmare to get them to stop I'll just tell you that and then they keep like finding new people wanting to take part in it more than nine million Americans have already had a booster because here's the thing are getting a booster why are you mixing a genealogy why are you giving the same coding I mean, it, you weren't born with the same coding. So why are you now trying to rearrange your genetic anything to gain access to other people's codes that you weren't born knowing? There's a reason why there is a length of private health ministry security between us all. Why the hell are, is this being allowed to just mix a whole bunch of population in some heterogeneous log? And then, yeah, I mean, like, I don't want to be part of it. How do I get out of this crazy device? And getting their first shot. This looks and like domestic violence to me. I don't see God's working here. And 11 times more likely to die. I can't say it any any clearer than that. You don't have to die. If you get vaccinated, you will not die from this virus. Now, full authorization for... Now, here's the other thing. 
this symbol, this is a break in time and space. It's no longer a full sphere. Something blew out and it caused little, whatever these are called, I mean, they have them represented here as circles. I have them inside in my tetra as squares. They don't have labels on them. Some are a little longer, some are a little shorter, but there's a lot of them that need attendance. But then there's this whole section that no longer exists. Um, it's the same way I describe my inside wall whether I spell it W-O-L or W-A-L, um, of Tetra and Tamanagrammatron. Uh, it's grommets. Um, so this is what's coming through on Tell A Vision directly to me. There's some kind of media coordinator. There's some kind of spokesperson. There's some kind of outlet I, I see this. I don't know how the world somewhere over here. This is me all by myself trying to figure out what's going on. And actually, this is me and Lynn connected. This is me all by myself. And I'm like, I feel like I'm coming off of this into the there's nothing here. Like I got absolutely nothing after this little bit, and I'm at 43, I got to here, and I'm like, uh-oh. I know that this isn't right. I know this is not the vision that should be, or should be portrayed or spoken about. I know that it makes absolutely no sense in actuality. Why would anybody conduct themselves this way and accept this as some form of reality? But when I look out this way... I can walk on my feet and not comfortably about three blocks where there's a village, but there's not much that looks familiar. I don't know business owners. I don't know, um, I don't know how they got here. I don't know how long any of them have been here. Um, like, there's no, I, it's just, it's so, it's just so wrong. And I know that I have was out raising children in Long Island, but coming back, it's just like, it's so painful to even walk. And then today I got another scent of, like, that it's some kind of unnatural gas, but I know they call it natural gas, but I'm like, is that one of those things where they have like a remote sensor where they can turn the flow on and off underneath the cities? I mean, it's possible because all of a sudden today, there's there was such a whiff in front of Bell Plaza. But the last time I spoke to the fireman who had the white shirt on with the one... I don't know. I don't, do they call that a grommet? I don't know. Um, or a one star look-alike thing because it's not a real star I don't think it's not five pointed it's more of a or I thought it looked more of like a a Giza um, pyramid where it 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 has two tilts to every point around I mean it's what it looked like optically uh, from my point of view just quickly grazing over it but he told me that I didn't have to call anymore that he was going to call it in a DEP and that it would be taken care of all right it was October 18th today's the 22nd um it's a serious gas concern um I haven't seen anybody come for cleaning out the traps because that's what they said that they needed to do and the smell is still there so now what I mean like how long what like I don't even know like how I even asked the building inspector that I ran into later on I'm like how long do I wait he says you know he says if they say that DEP is coming then just wait for DEP I'm like okay great but if I'm exposed to this nerve gas I mean shouldn't I I mean 
this is how there's no set standards here whatsoever and there's nobody to ask that has everybody's just like wait on the city wait to what die or be, be poisoned i mean like what am i waiting for um so anyway so that would be almost like in topography of a topiary labyrinth that you get stuck in finding the edge but there's nothing after it that's what it really feels like and after it is what comes through that windowsill in lighting that just I lose my hand I lose my density and my physicality because it doesn't react the same inside of this this type of light it doesn't even reflect the same and it's very hard. Look at the difference in my fingers. It's very harmful as you walk through it. Star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Cataruza.